Okay. So others can mute yourself, and if you have any queries, you can unmute yourself and ask at any time. Okay. So this was the problem what we saw in the last class, and uh, we discussed about. Uh, we segregate actually what, what we did in the last class is we were trying to segregate or classify or cluster the uh, problem into uh, the different heads of uh, costing so we we have this data this this data this cost uh, data was uh, cost management data was given to you and after this what we did is uh, we took a small uh, 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 we cross check ourselves to under uh, to uh, to know whether we have understood the concepts very clearly or not i was happy that yesterday many of you were do, able to do it correctly and yesterday we classified this cost into different types so this is what we saw and and we had a small uh, uh, add on to this uh, uh, problem is that we were interested to i uh, mean we, we we had one more extra thing that to subtract the material what is left out okay so why we are subtracted so again i want to give you uh, clarity on this during the starting of this financial year the company has received material for worth of rupees 60000 rupees while closing they were having a material worth of 50000 in their hand that means the entire period they were using only the material for material worth of 10000 rupees so that's why we are subtracting okay that is like if if in your home you are having 5 kg of sugar and there is diwali your mother is going to prepare sweets and is your father and your mother are sitting and planning for the grocery for the particular month uh, say for example today or tomorrow we have this uh, uh, krishna jayanti i don't know uh, uh, janmashtami or something like that so you are going to prepare sweets and you found that your mother is having only 5 kg of sweet 5 uh, kg and your family is a very big family and uh, you want to give distribute sweets to all your friends and family and your mother is telling i need two more uh, three more kgs of uh, 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 sugar that means like Uh, eight kg of sugar your mother is demanding to your father but what you will do whether your father will buy eight kg or whether your father will buy three kg i have got the question you are already having five kg in your home your requirement is eight kgs whether you will go to the grocery shop and buy three kgs or eight kgs three kgs three kgs why because already five kg is there already 5 kg is that same way in a company they are bought a item for 60000 rupees at the end of the month year what they find they find 50000 uh, worth of um, worth of material is left with them so that's why so they, so uh, so to so how much amount of money worth of uh, material is spent only 10000 worth of money is spent that's why i am uh, so remaining is a profit i mean whatever is left out i can i can use it for the next time next time man, the next year manufacturing so in this year i used only material worth of 10000 rupees okay so that's the logic that's why i am subtracting okay so imagine a situation like this the material in hand is 60000 okay material in hand is 60000 and uh, uh, during the starting of the year and during the end of the uh, year i i i i'm not having any material if the material cost is zero then there is no need of subtracting this or adding anything because you are already you are, you are completely used all your uh, all your uh, material in your company sometimes there is a chance that they may be buying a material during the start of the financial year say for example april 1 they have a material of 60000 in this case and towards the end of the year they may have, they would have ordered like after 6 months they would have ordered another 60000 worth of material and again towards the end of uh, another 3 months they would have ordered 90000 worth of material so on, a, on if you take if you take aggregate value they have invested more on material that means in that case you will, you should add up all the all the money what is spent on the uh, say for example uh, 60000 uh, for this uh, uh, august they have ordered next in december they are ordering another uh, the 30000 material in again in february they are ordering another 60000 of material so you have to add up all this material cost so it will be costing around 60 plus 30 plus 60 so roughly around 120 120 plus 30 around 150000 rupees uh, they would have spent on uh, purchasing the materials so in that case you should add up but in this case they are having the material in ex- i mean they only spent 10000 so i am subtracting sometimes there will be more purchase in, in case of more purchase of material you add it in case of less purchase of material you have to subtract it that's the logic like so year end what is the money you have spent towards the end of the year what is the money uh, left out for the material that's the key 
don't worry i am not confusing you i am not going to confuse you a lot because you already understood what are the concepts in this just if you imagine if what if something is left out at the end of the year you are going to subtract okay this will happen only in the case of material not not in not with any other uh, idea ideologies like no not, not with any other uh, uh, factors of productivity uh, is, uh, or costing it will only related to material always because only material can be material will be left out after production labors will not be left out so don't worry about that okay as we enter the problem in last class i asked you to take take down this formulas i hope you have the formula uh, with you uh, by your hand uh, near to you in your notebook so with this uh, formulas we are just going to so try how we we are going to solve uh, the problems now okay so what is this like uh, so we are going to see first formula there we are going to calculate the material cost so how to calculate the material cost i am taking the cost what is first invested in buying the material so it was 60000 towards the end of the uh, year i found out that uh, around 50000 material is left out with me so i would uh, actually spent only 10 i mean uh, so i would subtract this then again in the problem they have mentioned somewhere that they have purchased a material for uh, a new material purchase here the second uh, serial number is 2 new material purchase is 2 250000 rupees that's why i am adding it out so already 60000 worth of material was there again they purchased material for 200 and 2 uh, sorry 250000 Uh, so they were around like three lakh ten thousand worth of material is available with them, but towards the end of the year, only fifty, uh, only I mean the fifty thousand worth of material is already available with them. So what is left out? Two lakh sixty thousand material or worth of material is left out with them. So this is what they have totally spent on the material. Okay, are you able to understand this? Uh, should I repeat with some other example which you will understand easily? No, sir. Understood. Okay, so okay. If you are not able to understand, I can repeat. If I am, I am repeating the question. If anyone is not able to understand this point, I will repeat. Why we are subtracted? So I believe then everyone is able to understand. Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, so next we are going to calculate prime cost. To calculate the prime cost, we know the formula of prime cost is direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus direct expenses. so this is the formula so all direct expenses you are going to uh, calculate so in this case wherever you have direct cost we are going to add everything together but what happened we have calculated the material cost as 2 to 2 lakh 60000 so uh, this direct material cost we have calculated now so i am adding that direct material cost here direct labor cost and direct expenses so i am going back to the problem so based upon our segregation we have we have found out that labor charges labor charges we have found out that 70000 as direct labor cost direct labor cost is 70000 and the direct variable cost is 750 rupees so 750 770000 750 and 70000 so direct labor cost was 70000 direct expenses was 750 and the material cost was 260000 so i am adding up everything i am getting this value okay similar type of problem only will be getting in your examination the mcq pattern i will be giving you the material cost the labor cost and direct expenses you will i will be asking you to calculate the prime cost it's very simple like that otherwise i may ask you to calculate the prime cost just like that so the, here in this case i i would have given uh, the middle cost labor cost direct expenses and the factory overhead okay so the factory overhead or the production overhead means the same so to calc to calculate the form the formula to calculate factory cost is prime cost plus factory cost we know that prime cost is equal to direct material cost direct labor cost and direct expenses so i am substituting this here plus the factory overhead factory overhead or the production overhead both means the same so in this problem to calculate the factory cost prime cost plus production cost that's from the formula only the prime cost i have calculated as 330750 rupees plus the production overhead So here I have to calculate what are the production overhead from this from this. So I have five thousand, ten thousand, again five thousand, thousand, three thousand. Okay. So that is serial number. That is serial numbers. Uh, just uh, no, you can note it down somewhere. Fifty thousand, ten thousand, five thousand, thousand, three thousand. So what I have to do? I have to add all these things. I am adding all these things. Along with the prime cost, so I'll be getting the factory cost. Okay, are you able to understand this? Just you should be very very careful with segregating the cost in respective heads. 
that is whether it's prime, whether it is material direct material cost labor cost direct expenses production overhead or the factory overhead so like this you should be able to classify the cost if you are able to classify again it is just going to be addition of everything adding up everything together so you know what is the formula to calculate factory cost just you are substituting in the factory cost uh, as prime cost plus production cost and i am calculating the value for the factory cost next we are going to calculate the ad, uh, administrative overheads because that is asked the problem administrative overhead so what i have to do again going back to the roots so i am calculating administrative overhead 3500 300 200 2000 3000 2500 just adding all these values i am getting 9000 rupees okay what is the cost of production to calculate the cost of production the formula is factory cost plus administrative overhead factory cost i, I already have calculated as 3000 354750 i'm just substituting it here factory administrative cost i have calculated as 9000 so adding this both i'm getting 363750 rupees then i am going to calculate selling or or distribution overhead so again going back selling and distribution at 12000 plus 1200 Plus thousand five hundred plus two thousand five hundred plus thousand five hundred plus two thousand. I'm adding all these values, and I'm getting twenty thousand seven hundred. Then again, I have to calculate total cost. The formula is very simple: cost of production plus selling and distribution cost. Total cost. That is adding everything together. So it is going to be this plus this. I'm getting three lakh eighty four thousand four hundred fifty. Just I'm substituting in directly substituting the formula. Nothing I'm doing. Then selling price. selling price formula also we know total cost plus profit or loss so in this case the total cost we have calculated profit they are, they are given in the problem to assume as 10000 rupees so i am adding that value since it is given in the problem i am calculating the profit as 10000 and the total cost of sales is so if I, if i am selling my product for uh, uh, i mean uh, the total cost if i am selling for 3000 sorry 384450 rupees i am getting a profit of 10000 rupees so the selling price is only this much 394450 so this is how uh, the problem is done so just clustering and add, adding together that's it so in your in your fat examination definitely you will get this problem i am just opening the uh, the question itself you will get a similar problem in your uh, examination just asking you to calculate all these things material cost prime cost direct cost factory overhead all these things okay this is for your fat examination you can take it down So for one mark, <laughs> fat examination. I think it will be for uh, minimum for fifteen marks. Okay. In your CAT, it's going to be one mark. So uh, all the values will be given. You'll be asked to uh, you'll be asked to calculate prime cost, factory cost, material cost, something like that. The data will be given, and you'll be asked to calculate any one cost for one mark. It will be it will be a direct substitution. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, we don't have to uh, uh, bifurcate in. Uh, th- means we don't have to uh, uh, do on it, uh, do it on our own. The bifurcation, the factory cost or overhead uh, distribution overhead cost, or it will be directly given. Uh, it will be given directly. It will be given directly, okay. but still you should have the knowledge to substitute what because sometimes I will be giving extra data also. Say for example, okay. if I if uh, uh, I may be giving you some extra data which is not required for the problem. In that case, you should be able to bifurcate the data which is not required for you. Right? You should you should you should avoid the data what is not necessary for you and and consider the data only what is required to your problem. There are two problems like that. Okay. 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 And and one more important thing in your CAT examination, CAT one examination for question number nine alone. For question number nine alone, you can note it down. For question number nine alone, there are two right answers. There are two two right answers. Assume that's a multiple answer question. Question number nine is a multiple answer question. You have to select two right answers. Sir, is this for the cat that you're talking of? Cat one, what yeah. you're talking? Cat. Yeah, yeah. For the cat one, for question number nine, there are two right answers which you have to select. Even if you're selecting one right answer, your answer is wrong. Okay. You get zero so only. Not even not point five. Not even point five. Right? Part of which question nine will be having two right answers and then one uh, long answer question. There is no longer answer. There is no longer answer question. All are MCQ only. Only question number nine will have two correct answers. It's a multiple answer question. 
sir but it it's not uh, it's not a form question numbers person. will be jumbled sir that's what sir it will be jumbled no problem but you have to select right a b c d is given out of the a b c d sir or the option question number will be jumbled sir, sir. Sir, for example, for you it is question nine, but for us it can be question one as well. The questions yeah. are shown, sir. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. So, sir, it would be better if you mention in the question itself more than one correct answer. Okay, I'll do that. Sir, I'll if that. if you put in brackets, like you must select two answers, it will be better for us, sir. Yes, sir. sir. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, that's that's a nice idea. Okay, I'll do that. I'll correct that. I'll correct that. I forgot that. I thought only the answers will be jumbled. The question order will be same. Even the questions are going to be jumbled, right? Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I'll, I'll rectify that mistake. Sorry. Thanks for uh, that. Okay. What I thought is only the answers are going to be jumbled. Only the questions may be the same. Okay. I'll correct it. I'll correct. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Okay. So I hope you understood this problem, right? Just classification according to the different heads, then adding up. That's it. Okay. Next, let's go to the next problem. Uh, that is going to be a factory is producing. I'm just reading out the problem for you, and we will try to work it out. The factory is producing 150 electric bulbs. Okay, the, so the the daily they are producing 150 electric bulbs, and they are having a direct material cost of 250 rupees. Okay, right. 250 rupees is the material cost. Material cost, direct material cost. Then the direct labor cost is 200 rupees, and the factory overhead is 225. And they have not given the value of uh, the profit value. Because uh, to calculate the selling price, I mean the profit they didn't give, but what they given is 10% of the selling price and the selling cost and selling on cost over it 30% of the factory cost. So factory cost is 30%. Okay, factory cost is 30%. Sorry, the selling over cost. Selling over cost is 30% of the factory cost. On the on the factory cost, if you are having 30% of the factory cost is going to be the selling cost. And on again, the selling, uh, the profit is 10% of the selling cost. So it's only one question, but there are too many things here, right? Only direct material cost, direct labor cost, factory overhead is given, and they're telling that 30% of the factory cost is going to be your factory cost is going to be your selling price, and 10% of your selling price is going to be your profit. Okay, are you able to understand the question? Okay, so here factory cost to calculate the factory cost, you know the formula: direct material cost plus di uh, direct labor cost plus factory overhead. I'm adding it out. It's because only these values are given in the problem: 250, 200, and 225. And I know that it's going to be 675. That is the factory cost. Total cost formula is factory cost plus selling overhead, selling cost. That is given as 30% of. Factory cost. Thirty percent of factory cost is sixty-five into thirty divided by hundred, point three into six six seventy-five. Then I'll get eight hundred seventy-seven point five zero. To calculate the total cost, uh, the, uh, the the formula for selling price is uh, uh, we know that formula for selling price. Again, substituting in that, we are getting uh, uh, getting it as selling price minus selling price into ten divided by hundred because ten percent of profit is ten percent of selling price. Profit is going to be ten percent of selling price. So I'm out. out so I'm. Uh, I'm. I mean, you know, this, uh, uh, I'm having two equations now. I know the factory cost. Sorry, I know the total cost now. So total cost is equal to selling price minus profit. That is selling price minus because profit is ten percent of selling price. I'm putting selling price into ten by hundred. I'm. Uh, I'm. I mean, equating equations one and two. I'm getting that selling price is nine hundred seventy five. Nine hundred seventy five for one fifty bulb. Electric bulbs for to calculate for, for one electric bulb because you should understand the problem. They are asking for to calculate the price for one electric bulb. One electric bulb. So cost of 150 is I have to calculate one electric bulb. I am just dividing by 150. Out of this 975 for the 150 bulb, the one cost of one electric bulb is six rupees fifty paise. So this is how it is done. Just substituting the formula. You should understand the. You should know the formula. You should know how to substitute. What to substitute in. The formulas. If you're knowing that, it's very very easy. There's nothing else like it's, it's not uh, easy. It's very very easy. So my I have in your examination also you'll have some kind of a similar problem like this. So only I'll change the values here. I may be changing only the values here, and I may be asking you in the examination. Okay, are you able to understand this problem number two? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. 
okay so and then uh, next other problem uh, here we are giving the number of fountain pens is 135 rupees okay again uh, they are asking you to calculate the uh, price of one uh, selling price of one fountain pen okay this found the number of fountain pen is 135 uh, labor cost is uh, 200 material cost is given as 160 factory owner has given us 35% of prime cost so you now now you know the uh, now you know the formula to calculate the prime cost okay prime cost is equal to you know the formula direct material direct labor direct expenses administrative and selling overhead is given as 20 percentage of factory cost so that means we are they, we have to calculate the factory cost and 20 percent of the factory cost will be administrative and selling overhead profit is given as total cost so again we have to calculate the total cost 10 percent of the total cost is only be kept as profit so these are the uh, data what is given to given to us but again we are asked uh, to find what is the price of one fountain pen so as i told you we know the formula for prime cost direct material cost direct labor cost plus direct expenses we have to add all these things in this case the direct expenses value is not given to you just check the formula for problem the direct expenses is not given to you only the la labor cost 200 rupees and material cost 160 rupees is given to us with that data i'm calculating the prime cost as 360 rupees we know the formula to calculate the factory cost as prime cost plus production overhead okay or all the overheads right factory factory overhead because we got we can call this production overhead or we can also call this factory overhead in your formula i given it as factory overhead you can also think a factory overhead is, is also production overhead the, the both are same factory overhead or the production overhead are both the same in the problem they are given as factory overhead is 35% of prime cost just now we calculated the prime cost as 360 so 35% of 360 we are going to calculate and add with the prime cost again we are getting 486 rupees okay next how to calculate total cost we know, we have the formula factory cost plus selling overhead plus distribution overhead plus administrative overhead like like all the overheads put together so it's factory cost is 486 rupees plus it's given in the form uh, uh, here that uh, you, you have to assume 25% of factory cost for administrative and selling overhead is going to be 20% of factory cost we are calculating the factory cost just now so factory cost we are calculated as 486 rupees so 486 rupees plus all this overheads are 20 percentage so 40 uh, 20 percentage of 486 we are going to calculate plus this 486 i'm getting 583.20 okay now we are asked to calculate the selling price of 135 pence total cost we know profit is going to, we are asked to assume 10% of the total cost so 10% of 583.20 i'm finding out i'm adding it to the total cost i'm getting that to man to, uh, I, uh, 135 pence i am selling it for 641 rupees 52 paisa again in the problem they asked us to find the cost of one pen so cost of 135 pen is given so to calculate cost of one pen i am dividing the cost of 135 pen divided by 135 i'm getting 4 rupees 75 paisa is just like this cost of 10 mangoes is 100 rupees cost of 1 mango is how much same thing the fundamentals what we learned in our junior i mean basic classes that's that's formed the same thing we have used and we have calculated as 4.75 only thing they are playing with the percentage they are giving one cost they are asking that okay you cost production over at 35 percentage of factory uh, of the prime cost then they telling you consider the factory overhead cost as 20 percentage of the factory cost then they like you consider profit of a uh, 10% of uh, total cost um, profit will be 10% of the total cost so like this just they are giving up the values like adding up the percentage values and they are asking you to calculate the uh, cost of one pen uh, in the last class, last problem it is for one electric bulb concept is same the formula is same only thing is that they are not giving you lot of data they are telling that out of this 10% is this out of this 20% is this out of this 35% is this just just they are playing with the numbers you have to be very conscious in using this uh, using uh, substituting the uh, percentages okay uh, or this the problem is clear to you or do you want me to uh, walk through again clear yes. okay. yes, okay. only in the formula no. just direct substitutions be careful with the percentages that's it again uh, this form uh, i think this is a bit confusing uh, so here telling a drill bit is costing 6000 rupees okay i got two more minutes a yeah, drill uh, a drill press okay this is a press and it's costing around 6000 rupees and they are giving a discount of 25% of this price is given to the distributor okay 
because they're telling six thousand rupees you can sell this product in the market. But I'll give when you are buying the product from me to the distributor, I'm giving twenty five percentage of uh, discount. Labor cost, material cost, and factory overhead are are in the ratio of four is to one is to two. Okay, selling expenses. I mean selling expenses. Yeah, I mean selling overhead. Selling expenses is twenty five percent of the factory cost. Again, again they didn't give the factory cost. They are asking you to uh, assume that selling overhead is twenty five percent of factory cost. Like same like the old problem, the the previous problem. Then they are asking you to calculate the uh, profit of the factory for one for one item. How much profit they made? And they are telling that factory overhead is eight hundred rupees. So these are the data given to you. See, let's now let's work work with the problem. Labor cost, material cost, factory overhead. The ratio is four is to one is to two. In the form in the problem, they are given that factory overhead value is eight eight hundred rupees. Okay. Then if we assume labor cost plus material cost plus factory overhead as capital P or anything like that. Or or, or or the factory overhead. Then we have we we can uh, go like this. Factory overhead cost is eight. I mean, I'm just equating this first uh, equating this first two lines one and two. I'm just equating. So it's going to be eight hundred is equal to two by seven into P. So the P value I, I can calculate. So after calculating, just substituting here four percentage of I mean what is the percentage? I mean it is like four plus one is five, five plus two is seven. That's why I'm putting like this two uh, two by seven factory overhead, right? So because to calculate this factory overhead. I am putting as two divided by seven. I I think you understood how we got this two by divided by seven. It's four plus five. One is five. Five plus two is seven. So we are we are going to substitute only for factory overhead. Only factory overhead. So P equal to factory overhead divided. Factory overhead is two. So two divided by seven. The total value. So because I am going to or I am going to calculate only for substitute only for the factory overhead. So two divided by seven into P. Again the P value I am getting. Then uh, it will be so. If I want to calculate the for the middle cost, it's going to be one divided by seven, uh, or if I want to go for the middle labor cost, it's going to be four divided by seven. Just that. Then p value we know. I'm substituting that. I'm calculating the middle cost is four hundred rupees, labor cost is thousand six hundred rupees, and I already already calculated the factory overhead. Okay, factory overhead is two thousand eight hundred rupees. So just I'm substituting this. Then again, the, we are going to the old formula: prime cost, factory cost, total cost, selling price. Again, we are again here. See here, last problem we have added the because there is a profit of ten thousand. Okay, in the last problem, profit of ten thousand, so we added. But here we are giving discount to the say dis discount to the distributor, almost twenty five percent because it is given in the problem twenty five percent of discount you are giving. That's why I'm subtracting this value. You should understand why I'm subtracting because. You are you are going to make a profit of twenty five percentage, but still you are giving twenty five percent extra income to your uh, to your uh, distributor because uh, normally this happens to have a very good business relationship. Uh, like I may release a book, uh, I may release a book for hundred rupees, but I will give the book to the distributor for seventy five rupees. Okay, so he will buy the book for seventy five rupees from me, but in the market he will be selling the book for hundred rupees or even much. More than hundred rupees, like hundred and twenty-five rupees. So he will get a profit of fifty rupees. Like the idea is, I'm I, I'm sacrificing my uh, profit, a considerable amount of profit. I'm sacrificing for my distributor, so that this distributor will be working hard to promote my product in the market. Thereby, I will be gaining some profit also. Okay, but the number of sales will be high in the market if I have a small understanding between the uh, distribution uh, distributor and the company. This will not be every time. Like sometimes seasonal. Say if I'm writing a book, I will tell. Okay, during the college reopening time, I will tell. Okay, my my book distributor that. Okay, this time you take 25 percentage profit. You you earn some money. I will also so that I will also earn some money. So that's a dealing. So that's why I'm subtracting. Only when you give discount, you are going to mind subtract. Otherwise, you are not going to subtract. Okay. Then we know found out the selling price. Again, just substituting it. I'm finding it the finding it for. Uh, for one product, because all these data were given for a year drill press, only one product. So uh, we are not dividing anything, uh, like we are out of like we are not calculating for what what is for one product. So it's already all the data is for only for one product. So in this case, I am getting the profit as thousand rupees. Okay, so this is the thing. So I am just stopping here. So if you see here, uh, it's going to be uh, till slide number twenty four. Okay, first module, third module for your examination. In the second module. you are going to study till 24 slides i am clear to you
till problem number 4 yes sir yes sir yes okay sir. okay Okay. So if you have any doubt, I'll wait in the. Uh, I'll wait. I, I'll be able to answer your uh, uh, question now. Any other questions? If you have, if not, you can. I I would I, I would download your utterance. You can sign off.